Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. Today we're gonna to continue our series with Glide integrations. If you've missed the boat on this one, just know that Glide has released tons of no-code integrations directly into their Glide apps by going to settings and then integrations and you'll see the complete list here. Make sure that you're working in Glide's apps, not Glide Classic apps, as Glide Classic apps don't have access to these integrations. If you've missed any of my previous videos, go back and take a look at those before moving forward with this one so you get the full picture as to what integrations are all about. In this video, we're going to talk about Google Calendar integration. So scrolling up, we see a little bit here underneath the settings integrations, the ability to add Google Calendars to a Google Calendar of your choosing. So one thing to know here, this is not the ability of users being able to add something to their own calendar. This is a feature that allows a, an event to be added to a calendar, and then that event can be shared with the user, so that way it shows up on their calendar. So there needs to be some sort of central calendar to pick from. All right, so for our premise today, we're gonna have a restaurant app that's allowing users to book a table, and then they can add that event to their calendar, something kind of simple. All right, so we have Google Calendar integration. I'm gonna click on that and click Add to App. And when I do, it's gonna ask me to authenticate with my Google account. I'll go ahead and do so. And now, boom, we have access to Google Calendar e actions within our uh, app here. So one thing to note here is that this one does not have a column yet for any of the features. It's an action only, as you can see by the icon here, which means we can tap into this integration as part of any of the actions that we add to our app. So what I'm thinking is that users will be able to view restaurants and then maybe book a table. And when they book a table as part of that action sequence, it's going to invite them to a calendar event so that way they can remember to visit that location at that time. All right, let's go ahead and build this. So in my layout, I have a list of locations, a list of restaurants. This is being fed from a locations uh, sheet here. And I also have a table called reservations which I'm just grabbing the name of the location, the user's email, this is important for Google Calendar integration because we wanna share it with the user, and then some other information like timestamp as to when they selected, and then a quantity, just some superfluous information as to how to, uh, or just to add how many people are coming to the party for the restaurant's sake, right? I have a conditional relation here that's saying, hey, if this reservation is my reservation, then display the user or the, display the location. So that way in the location sheet, I can make a relation from the name to my, the signed in user's reservation uh, to display that as a list on the page. Okay, so um, displaying this, here we have our list of restaurants. And if I dive into a restaurant, I created a button here called reserve a table. And it's just gonna show a form screen to reserve that table. So I click on the button to reserve a table and I'm asking for their uh, date and time that they want to attend the, um, uh, to grab a table. How many people are gonna be in the party? That's a number column. And then I'm grabbing the actual restaurant and the email, the user who is signed in right now. All right, so let's go ahead and create this action sequence. So when they go to submit this form, we want to show them a confirmation message and add them to a calendar event. So under the general section of this form, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a new action. Actually, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's create it from scratch here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is show notification. So I'm gonna show notification saying that uh, table or reservation booked successfully. Yep. Okay, and then afterwards, we're gonna invite them to that calendar response. So uh, under the plus button here, we're gonna scroll all the way down to our list of integrations, Google Calendar, and we're gonna event to calendar. All right, now here's where we're gonna set up this integration. So I'm gonna dive into that event, and we can see here that each run uses three updates. So make sure that you have a plan that can satisfy that many updates in case this is a crucial feature to your app. All right, so the event title, this could be taken from a template column. Maybe for the event title, I'm just gonna use um, the timestamp. Okay, so the location, this is gonna be the actual name of the location. Yes, the name of the restaurant. 
Next up is the calendar ID. Now for the calendar ID, you need to have right access permissions to that calendar in order to access that calendar ID. Meaning, if you dive into your Google Calendar here and take a look at your different calendars, um, anything under other calendars down here where I don't have right access, it's not gonna work. I can't write to a read-only calendar. But any of the calendars that I have right only, or I have right access to, um, I can use. So let's say I wanna add it to my restaurant calendar here. I can click on the triple dots, go to settings and sharing for that calendar, scroll down a bit, and we can see the um, calendar ID for that calendar. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that calendar ID, come back over to my Glide app and paste. All right, description. Maybe this is how many people are gonna be in the party, so I can use the quantity here. Next up is setting the date and time. What I love that Glide did was allowed for the input of a date time column for this field. Previous to this integration, if you wanted to leverage Google Calendar within a Glide app, you had to convert that timestamp to a ISO timestamp and get it perfectly correct in order to pass that value along to create the event. You don't have to worry about that anymore. As long as it's a date time field or date time column, uh, Glide does all the magic on the back end. So I can hit the triple dots here and just choose that timestamp that they chose that they want to be or have that reservation. All right, duration in minutes. Uh, you can choose something nominal here. Uh, maybe this is something that's user generated, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or so forth. Or for this, maybe just a, you know, maybe you're saying that for this restaurant, um, all parties are gonna have a 60 minute window in order to eat or something like that. All right, and attendees. This is where you're gonna put in the user. So I want the user who created that reservation to receive that event invite. So that's why it needs to be the email address of the person who's doing the booking for this case. So this action is set up correctly, hit close, and let's test this out. So if I do this correctly, it's set up a time uh, for today um, at 12.30 p.m., hit OK, and I hit submit, boom. Uh, the reservation shows up here in the app, and if I visit my calendar, I should now see a new event at 12.30, and there it is. So here's the time at that restaurant, uh, invited that person, and then under the description, it just has the number one, <laughs> right? But uh, yeah, that would be like one person attending the party or something like that. So you can see, you can play with a template column to get the right event title that you want on there. Um, but what's nice is that it carries over the timestamp correctly along with time zones and all that's fantastic and you can set a, a specific location uh, in this case did it actually find it did look at that just by the name of the restaurant it found the restaurant inside of atlanta and got me the correct location so that's kind of cool too so you can actually choose a name of a place or the address of the place and this event lives on the restaurant calendar but you can see over here it invited this person so this person can now accept the invite and so forth so this is just one way to use the Google Calendar integration with inside of your Glide app. If you like this video, make sure you hit all the buttons below so you don't miss the next one that I release about Glide integrations. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.